And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a Voronoi pattern. You can use that on objects that don't have too many nodes. So let us use basic objects here like rectangles, ellipses and stars. Color doesn't matter, so the fill color in this case. Just select one, extensions, generate from path and Voronoi pattern, it gives you this menu. If you select help, it gives you a further explanation. But it's fairly simple. Under options, check the live preview. It will take some time to render if you have the average size of the cell too low. So in this case, it's all pixels. And 50 is fine. It takes a couple of seconds. Let me go up to 200 which is the maximum here. And this is what's being rendered. And when you go very small, let me just try something like 10. It takes way more time to actually render it because it has to create all of these cells. The correct size for your element depends on the size of the element as well. Keep that in mind. There's a second option which is the size of border. It's also pixels. And the effect is very minimal. Let me show you this here. From 0 to 50 the difference can't really be seen when you are at that zoom level. And the maximum here is also 200. And once again, you see almost nothing here. Under help, it is explained what this size of border actually does. So if it's zero, the pattern will be discontinuous at the edge. And you can create a smooth joints when you go up. But as I've said before, it's a minor adjustment. Let me pick something that looks good for the star. So I would pick something like 25 for this size to use it for my thumbnail. Don't forget to apply it. And afterwards, it's an element that you can export like any regular element. And this is how you can create these Voronoi patterns in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.